what's up gamers hi guardians and hello internet welcome to another sloop gaming video and welcome to another weekly bungee drop of the twid let's take a look this week in destiny october 19th 2023 this one's brought to us by br1 what up br1 this week in destiny we are ah it's the headless one oh no it was just my cat my apologies, but since Festival of the Lost started, I see those three eye things everywhere, and I love it. There's tons of great loot to obtain, but we can also be playful and a bit scary on the side. More about that in a second, just after a message from our sponsor, the topics from last week's TWID. If you're interested in what had occurred during last week's TWID, feel free to go to the description below and click on the link of my coverage from last week's twid. And what's in the oven for today? A spooky event deserves community activities, an update on sparrows, vanguard extra ranks and double nightfall loot, final week in rotation for some weapons. Have you tried checkmate rumble? New prime gaming drops available, the player support report, some amazing art of the week and movie of the week submissions. Let's get on with it. Let's celebrate Festival of the Lost together. Abolita Eva Levante is back in the tower for three weeks, and she's brought a new edition of the Book of the Forgotten. Fill it with the pages that enemies drop inside haunted sectors, collect tons of candy and earn some loot, and for those that wish to go full into the spirit of the event, we have very special armor ornament sets ready for you. A beetle and two spiders walk into a bar. You might have seen them in action already, but it's never too late to share a better look at the new Universal Ornament sets. Yes, the ones that you all voted for a few months ago. Here's the Hunter Megalomorph set, the Titan Crawling Chaos set, and the Warlock Carapace set. All three sets are available in the Eververse in-game store during Festival of the Lost. A side note on the ornaments, the community voting is absolutely absurd. You're never going to satisfy everyone. Half the people will like what's voted for, and the other half are going to want what was not voted for. Just give us both sets, and also give us a way to earn the ornament sets in game, they should be included in the actual drops that you get from completing the event card. It shouldn't be something that you go to Eververse for. If you think differently, let me know how you feel in the comments section below. Legend and the Haunted, one of the new additions to Festival of the Lost this year are Legend Haunted Sectors, a more challenging take on the event activity. Match make with other players or go with a pre made team and see how fast you can defeat as many headless ones as possible. The featured legend Haunted Sector rotates every 150 minutes and has its own node in the tower. Enemies will hit a lot harder, be more aggressive, and have several modifiers, like threats and surges active. You'll need a good build to survive. In exchange for your bravery, you'll have a higher chance to earn an exotic engram when you complete the activity. There's also World Loot Pool gear and Festival of the Lost Weapons when you take Headless Ones down. And don't forget about the Eerie Engrams that you can use for Hocus Focusing into specific exotics and Festival of the Lost Weapons. Cosplays, Pumpkins, and Masks. Since we love this time of year so much, we want you all to celebrate both in the game and in real life. For example, how about a small cosplay contest? No need to spend much or work hundreds of hours on it. Keep it fun, keep it simple, just work on something that'll make you look scary, silly, and charming, then share it with us using the hashtag threads of fright hashtag on social media. But why stop there? If you have a pumpkin just lying around or calabasas, as I call them, start carving. We are good if you want to use a different canvas for your work too, as long as we end up with something as menacing as a headless one, or another creature that could make a guardian sweat. Are we good? We're good. 
And since good things come in threes, here's one more idea. Eris Morn, one of our biggest monster experts, had a hair-raising glow up during Season of the Witch, and we loved it. To help you follow suit, we have prepared a template of Eris's mask that you can download. The first one is a template for both a 3D version and a flat version. The other link has the instructions. Here's the mask, and here are the instructions, both in PDF format. Uh, we're gonna have those links in the description below as well. Personalize yours to make the most amazing version of Hive Eris, and then share it with us with the hashtag Hive Eris mask hashtag on social media. We'll choose our favorite carvings, costumes, and mask creations among the community and award them the art of the week or movie of the week recognition they deserve, as well as the very frightening, very cool looking hollowed coronation emblem. Gotta go fast. After last week's announcement that sparrows will be getting a boost in velocity, we wanted to share some additional information with y'all. We heard feedback for a while now that players who own Always On Time want to feel like they can safely swap to other sparrows without sacrificing optimal performance. Therefore, with season 23, we set a goal to help players feel more comfortable swapping off of Always On Time by improving baseline exotic and legendary sparrows while letting Always On Time retain some unique functionality. All legendary and exotic sparrows have Two speed selection options moving forward, one matching AOT speed and one matching the older highest speed that was available to offer a choice in handling and speed control. Upon login, players, well, in most cases, default to the fastest option immediately and see the speed updated to 190. All legendary and exotic sparrows will also move from 100 to 150 health to be more durable to match AOT's health pool. AOT will continue to retain a few unique benefits, including slightly better fuel economy, slightly lowered enemy aggression, and slightly better side-to-side -side boost. We're hopeful that these changes will improve player comfort in swapping off of AOT to use their favorite Sparrow in most play sessions, but that their investment in AOT remains valuable. Twice the loot, double the nightfalls. If you haven't already heard, Nightfalls have double rewards this week and also provide increased reputation when playing on any of the Vanguard playlist activities. This includes strikes. So you have an opportunity to reset your ranks with Zavala to farm materials for next season or to get a perfect buzzard roll, which is the adept reward featured this week. If you are still looking for an adept one you like, we advise you jump into the Grandmaster playlist very soon. Weapons exiting the loot pool. Because we don't want you to miss the opportunity to get any of the weapons leaving the loot pool, we are letting you know when they'll stop dropping. Nightfalls, Buzzard's final week is this week. The Swarm's final week will be next week. Trials of Osiris, the Immortals' final week will be next week. And Astral Horizon's final week will be on November 7th. Remember that the regular version of these weapons will still be available for focusing at their respective vendors, Zavala and Saint-14, but you won't get them as regular drops from completing the activities, and their adept versions won't be obtainable. We'll announce what weapons will take their place soon. Are you ready to Checkmate Rumble? Checkmate has been in Crucible Labs for the past four weeks, first with Control as the game mode and then with Survival. Now it's Rumble's turn in the spotlight, Fight alone against a bunch of other Guardians and come out on top if you can. While the Checkmate modifier is active, players have a small bump in health, special weapons don't get ammo as often, and abilities regenerate a lot slower. The outcome? More strategic gameplay. Checkmate Rumble will be available for this week, then Control will be back for the next three before Survival serves as the season close. There are some interesting adjustments coming too, so please, Take a look at them here if you haven't already. Scary good Prime Gaming drops. If you have a Prime Gaming membership, you'll get those freebies from us starting tomorrow, October 20th at 9 a.m. PDT. The Boo Exotic Emote. Winchester's Ruin Exotic Sparrow. The Lycan's Meyer Shell Legendary Ghost Shell. Festival of the Lost Sigil Legendary Ghost Projection. Player support report. Somehow the moon got even more haunted this year. No clue how. 
Crota's N48 hour challenge mode emblem. If you want to know more about that and you're part of the 3%, go ahead and click on the link below in the description and read it yourself. Claim your event card items. Festival of the Lost concludes at the weekly reset on November 7th. Players should make sure they claim any completed objectives and available rewards from their Festival of the Lost event card prior to the conclusion of the event. The event card and any unclaimed rewards will no longer be available once the event ends. And known issues, while we continue to investigate various known issues, here's a list of the latest issues that were reported to us on our hashtag help forum. My embedder's ambition no longer glows when dealing damage. When the full auto melee setting is on, Glaze will melee twice by mistake. The shh emote no longer displays the intended holographic boss. For a full list of immersion issues in Destiny 2, players can review our known issues article. Players who observe other issues should report them to where? Hashtag help forum. Movie of the week, the spirit of the season. Timon says my favorite game plus one of my favorite movie scenes. This is a masterpiece movie of the week. Dance off distraction by mythical via X Twitter. Ivan says it's the time of the year when people try to scare you and there are skeletons and candies everywhere. This hashtag Destiny 2 Movie of the Week has the spirit. Enjoy your upcoming Halloween, Guardians. Movie of the Week, this is Halloween by The Italian. Sometimes you just need some tea. Hippie says to say that Season of the Witch has been a trying one for Eris and the gang would be a massive understatement but the important thing is that she wasn't alone for even the worst of it surrounded by those that love her eris has more than earned a little rest let's be honest sometimes you just need a nice cuppa and some solid r and r artist of the week tea and silence by at antler lad via twitter x Sam says when the Taking King returned, he thought he was here to conquer us and our world. And well, he couldn't because we're guardians and we win. Here's a great shot of the whole squad, baddie and all. Art of the week, taken kind by no knots doodles via Twitter X. And that's all for this week. Let's get back to celebrating Festival of the Lost. Those nasty headless ones need to be brought into line. And there's also more triumphs to complete the event card. You can get some more mementos for crafted weapons, too, and of course, a ton of eerie engrams to earn some amazing weapon rolls. I'm looking forward to Cosmic with Enlightened Action and Repulsor Brace, and maybe a Fancis Stasis Horror Story with Dynamic Sway Reduction and Target Lock, or maybe Headstone. Hasta luego, BR1. And there you have it, this week in Destiny for October 19th, 2023. Festival of the Lost has kicked off. I don't know about you, Guardians, but I'm not a fan of this event. It's fun. I get the spirit of it. I'm all about that. And I had a great time with my clanmates the other night uh, during our weekly Wednesday night event that I host. And it was great to go through the content, hang out with friends, and, you know, and play the game that we all love. But the rewards, in my opinion, they fall short. The voting, the community voting for the ornaments, uh, I, I think is a farce. I, I think whatever the artists that Bungie come up with, they should all be available. Leaving it up to the community to vote on it, there's always going to be half of the people that aren't going to be satisfied. So just give us what your artists can render and also have those ornaments available for us to earn in game, specifically through the event card. I don't think that's too much to ask. You have the you have the resources, you have the teams to do it. Uh honestly, I just can't accept that you don't do it. You just don't want to do it. So, with that being said, how do you guys feel about Festival of the Lost? Are you interested in any of the weapon drops? The new grenade launcher, the event as a whole. Do you not care? Again, let's discuss. Let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, Guardians, be safe, stay vigilant, and as always, may the light protect us all. Thank you for watching. Likes and shares are very much appreciated, and subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Peace.